come on. Cheese. The most important part is cheese and obviously dog. Here we go. <coughs> you have to keep cheese in front of your mouth. Uh, obviously, before you start, put your dog on a harness. It's the best harness for the handle in the middle, so you can control the dog. Have you treat what she or he likes the most? In this case, it's cheese. So, and keep cheese in front of the face so dog will follow it. Uh, I will try to demonstrate uh, this exercise. The point of this exercise, I want her to walk through this pole, or a mop in this case, with her one front paw, and one back leg, back leg. So she is doing flexion exercise and abduction and adduction. So one left front paw and back left hind. And go for this pole. So turn around, swap the hands. So she does exercise on both sides, right and left. So you're taking her in and out, only with one side, one front and back hind, obviously rear leg. And because this pole is quite short, if you find longer one, that would be better. And she has to work on this back hind. Take it in and out. In, in. Walk a bit and out. Can you see this way? She is doing abduction and adduction exercise on her back leg. Front, don't bother about the front in this case because it's crucial ligament injury exercise. So we have to work on her back legs. So up in, can you see? Back leg in, it's abduction. Move dog forward a bit and take it back leg out. So again, in, move forward and out. So there is another option. In my case, it's a, a concert move, whatever brush. I found the plank and I uh, put bricks to support the plank. And this plank is a bit longer. So in this case, I will do exactly the same exercise, it just will be longer. So she can do in and out. And so I need it. Come on, she wants to flex her leg. Take it over the plank. Walk forward a bit. Can you stop talking? I'm recording. Okay, thank you. And out. Move forward a bit. And take dog with front leg in and her back leg. Kali back leg. She's concentrating on her cheese. Back leg. Over the plank. Yay. And walk her forward a bit. Come on. So obviously, Kali just starts doing this exercise. She doesn't get to do what I want her to do yet. But the point is, I keep changing her sides so she works on both legs. And I want her back leg to go in and out. So she, do, she does abduction. She works on abductor and adductor muscles. Come on. So ask her to go forward a bit and take this leg in. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Yay, you can do it. So move forward when she is in. Can you see? One side is in and one side is out. And if she is in front of her face, so she is listening to you. That's what you want her to do. And also, also this handle on her harness will help you to navigate her and do, you know, in a control manner, in slow manner, control, and you will help her to do this 
first exercise at the beginning until she or he realized that they are supposed to do and what you want them to do. Come on, step over. I know it's not easy, it's quite difficult, but again, turn around and work on the other side as well because otherwise, if you work on one side, the dog will be asymmetrical. One part of the body will be muscled and that will be uh, atrophy. Well, not that bad, obviously, I hope. But you always have to work on both sides. So, you see, she's getting better on it now. She, she is so greedy. I didn't know my dog is so greedy. So, yeah, she, she a bit more understand what I want her to do. And, come on, take this leg over. Yay! And after she took leg over, take her back to the middle and move a bit forward so she walks like that as well. And out. And turn around again. That cheese. It's just a disaster. We're all over this cheese. Sensible is doing very well. So yeah, you see what she is doing now. Obviously, she didn't have an operation. It's easy for her to do this exercise, but it's just an example for your dog to follow. And this is what you can do at home without any spending any money on your equipment. And this is what if you do that a couple times a day for five ten minutes, that would help her with this abductors and abductors muscles and bring her back to normal a bit quicker than without exercise. So can you see what's happening now? She is she is doing very well at the moment. I'm taking her in to the middle. So she step over, step over, step, step over, step over, thank you. And that's it. This is our video. Uh, actually, I would like you to show you some more thing. This uh, hula hoop, what my children used, used to use when we were younger. You can buy different sizes. You can buy for smaller dogs, small size. For bigger dogs, bigger size. So the same, the same way of doing that exercise. Just keep her one side of the body, front po front leg and back leg inside the inside the circle. And she has to walk in a circle in and out in and out like that obviously turn around and do the same with other side uh, i will try to demonstrate i'm not sure how this video is going to work but hopefully you will see what i mean so cheese again that one is very easy for her because it's not uh, lifted from the ground it's just lying on the floor uh, so Concentrate on back legs. Can you see she's picking up, taking the side base leg, picking up, taking side base. This is abduction, abduction. So in and out the circle. In the circle, in and out the circle. Yeah, now let go. <laughs> now turn around to the side the same stuff Kali. on other side so in Kali. obviously the rector with this cheese she will follow the cheese and the she goes and in that's good girl pull around the sword and now so this is it i hope it's well you will find that video useful and good luck